What's up guys, welcome back to Daniel Talks Football right here on YouTube. I'm Daniel and we are back with another video. In this video we're going to be doing part two of our rating transfers series. We've probably got four or five of these videos to be honest to come out. So this is part two. We've got another one prepared and there will be plenty more coming after that with all the transfers that are happening this summer. Before we do get into the video, please make sure to like the video, comment down below and also subscribe to the channel. Go and follow the TikTok and the Instagram, Daniel Talks Football on both. Right, we might as well just get straight into it with Jude Bellingham. I'm going to give Jude Bellingham a 10 out of 10. I don't know why you wouldn't really. He's English. And obviously, does that really particularly mean much to Real Madrid? No. But if they were to sell him to the English League, that definitely would mean something. Eight goals and four assists in the Bundesliga last year. He's 20 years old. And for 103 million euros, I think he is a bargain. The bloke's 20. He can be at Real Madrid for 10 years and they can probably sell him for 60 million at the age of 30, even 80, to the Prem. How much did Casemiro go for at what age? Wasn't he about 30 when he went to United for 60, 70? You could easily probably get 60 million for Jude Bellingham in 10 years. That is simply incredible. What a player Jude Bellingham is. I know it's a lot of money. But I think he's just going to fit. He's going to work. I can't see him flopping at all. 10 out of 10. Moving on to the next player in the list. And it's Pau Torres. Now, Pau Torres is a Spanish central, central defender. Um, 26 years old. And he's currently playing for Aston Villa after his move from Villarreal. He cost €33 million. Euros, and that is a cheap price. Pau Torres is an excellent centre-back. We all know this. Pau Torres has been leading the way for the metrics of the centre-back position for quite a while. Now, left-footed as well, and we all know how rare those left-footed centre-backs are and how much of a premium they come at. So to be able to get such a quality one like Pau Torres in for just €33 million, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think this is a really, really good signing. Um, again, I can't see him flopping much. That Villa central defence now is really, really stacked. But you've got Pau Torres, Carlos, Consa, Mings. You know, you've got some really, really good central defenders in there, but Torres just takes it to a new level. They're going to be fighting in the Conference League this year. I can see them winning the Conference League, to be honest, which will hurt me as a Leicester fan, but I can see them winning it. I think Pau Torres is an excellent signing in here. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Next up, we've got Arda Gula, who has joined Real Madrid. Gula is a Turkish 20, uh, sorry, 18 year old. He's a young guy, four goals and three assists in the Super League last year. Barcelona also wanted to sign him. However, I think this is true. This might not be true. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure Gula said he didn't move there because one of their fans photoshopped him into a U Europa League jersey. That might just be a meme, but even still. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I think for 20 million euros, I think Real Madrid have done really, really well to pick him up here. Um, Again, this is a player who's got 10, 12 years. Is he going to come straight in this season? Maybe not. But if he does, well, you've got an 18-year-old who's already playing for Real Madrid for, and you bought him for 20 million. Like, what a player Gula is going to turn out to be. This is one that I think does have more potential to flop, unlike Jude. I think Bellingham will work. Gula, there's a possibility he flops. You know, he's at such a young age, we don't know what he's going to be like in four or five years. But because you signed it for 20 million and you're Real Madrid, even if he's absolutely awful, you could probably get that money back on him. You can give him three or four years, and if he's not up to par, you can probably sell him for 20 million to a Premier League club or Saudi Arabia or wherever. I think Real Madrid, it's they won't lose on this because no matter what happens, I think they at least get their money back. So yeah, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 for Arda Gula to Real Madrid. Next up, we've got. Urien Timber. Timber is obviously a Dutch international. He can play both right back and centre back, which will be handy with that. As we all know, the elbow system that Arsenal play with that sort of, you know, that Zinchenko usually pushing up onto the midfield. That right back does sometimes slot in, into the defence to play a bit of a system that Pep Guardiola plays. Um, he's 22 years old and he only cost Arsenal 40 million. Initially, I was going to give this a fairly low rating because I thought, well, what's what do they really need him for? But I looked at it again and I thought, 40 million euros. Like, that's cheap. That is really flipping cheap. For a player of Timber's standard, and it is, it, obviously it's not obvious, it's not you know, nothing. It, it's a decent chunk of money, 40 million. But for somebody of Timber's quality and for a club like Arsenal who can spend 40 million without really thinking about it, 
Timber is an excellent rotation option. I'll give this one an 8 out of 10. I think he's a really good option. I think this is an excellent signing for Arsenal. Moving on into the next player, and it's Mason Mount. I think this is just a solid signing, to be honest. The only issue is why I'm not giving him such a really high rating, we'll get to the rating in a second, is because I'm not sure about the system of that midfield. We all know what the midfield's going to look like. It's going to be Casemiro, Mount and Bruno. I'm not sure about Mount's capabilities to play the eight. I've said this ever since he signed. I'm not sure Mount's capabilities to play that eight position well. However... I think he's a solid signing. And even if he can't do that, then he's an excellent backup to Bruno Fernandes, at which point you can just bring in another centre midfielder. I think he's a really good player. I'm gonna give him a seven I'm gonna give it, it a seven out of ten. I think, yeah, it's a decent signing. It's a lot of money, but it's a decent signing. Seven out of ten. Moving on to Vic Visario, Vicario, the new Spurs goalkeeper. I don't see the point. Yes, he's been brought in to start for them this season, but genuinely I think by next, by the time next season comes around, it'll be a backup, and they'll bring in somebody new. He reminds me a bit of Stellini, not Stellini, um, the Atalanta keeper that came in, whatever his name is, is uh, whatever his name was, I can't remember. Him, and it just never worked. He came in to try and challenge Luis, and he just was a backup. I know Vicario, Luis is going, but. Is he really a Spurs quality goalkeeper? No. As I say, I think give it by next year, I think he'll be the backup goalkeeper and they'll bring in a proper shot stopper. I'm not I'm not convinced. Next up we've got Manuel Ogarte, who has moved to PSG from Sporting Lisbon. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of ten. On the script I've only got six, but I'm gonna actually give it a seven out of ten. Initially I was thinking this is a play going to PSG. There's a big possibility of him flopping like a lot of PSG players do do. Who are, however, after the recent news that's come out today of them signing both Gonzalo Ramos, Ramos, no, Ramos and Usman Dembele, I think he's a good player. And if he can settle well, I think he will do well. I think he will do very well at PSG. Um, I will give it a 7 out of 10. As I say, initially I was thinking 6, but no. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I think uh, Regatti is a really good player. And yeah, I think he'll do well there. And then last but not least, we have Sandro Tonali, who has moved from AC Milan to Newcastle for 70 million. 23 years old now. I think he's an excellent player. An excellent, excellent player. And I think he'll do really, really well in that midfield. People seem to have kind of forgotten about him a little bit. Um... But I think he will do really, really well in that Newcastle side. Um, my only issue with him is, is, is he happy to be there? Is he like, is he happy to be there? Like we've all seen this thing, he's tonight really, if he's not happy to be there, I don't think he's going to do very well. And I think it could possibly flop. However, it's a good signing and on paper it should do well. If he can, if he can get settled into Newcastle, which I know is not the easiest place to settle, but if he can settle to Newcastle, then I think he'll do well, so I'll give it a 7 out of 10. But there we go, there's ratings transfers part 2. I hope you have enjoyed, there'll be more of these coming, so do stay tuned to the channel, and I'll catch you all again in the next video. See ya!